going on, YouTubers? I did get a new package today. Uh, a little late to the party, as lots of people have already received this statue. Uh, but this is the Tasume uh, Piccolo and Gohan. This is their first Dragon Ball Z statue, limited to 2,500 pieces. Uh, this took a little over a year to go ahead and release. It is their first in the line. And technically, this is my first licensed Dragon Ball Z statue. You know, I have some licensed figures, but for the most part, every single, you know, DBZ piece I own is, you know, unlicensed. So they included some envelope here. Let's see what the frick this is. I believe it's the COA. There it is. COA. I got number 1353 of 2500. And it's signed by Cyril Marchol, the founder of Tosume. So uh, they have already, you know, gone on pre-order the second statue from this line, uh, which is the one fourth Vegeta. And I ain't gonna lie, it's the most beautiful statue I've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks, gorgeous. The packaging is very nice. You know, they got a really nice art box. The brown box has the corner styrofoam, and then they also have this nice thing to help me easily carry it out. Because that's one problem you have the styrofoam out, you have to, you know, turn the box upside down to carry it out, where this one included this, which is actually really nice. Just a bow tie, so I can go ahead and... And it's still taped, of course, so... Go ahead and get my knife, and let's open this up. They do label as well that this is the top. So, a lot of people out there have always bragged about Tsume, saying how, you know, good their pieces are. They sell out in a matter of days, thousands of pieces. You know, Vegeta sold out in like a day, 3,000 statues. You know, which is quite impressive considering that's a $700 statue. Piccolo, I mean, he's available in the U.S. at some retailers, but he's sold out on Tosume's site, I believe. But I've never seen a piece from them in person, nor owned one. So, let's see what the hype is all about. A lot of fanboys out there. No, it's just like all those XM fanboys who, you know... They believe XM is absolute everything. I've never seen an XM statue, but you know, some of them are pretty impressive in the videos. But they're just too darn expensive and hard to get. Alright, let's see what we got. Alrighty, so we have Piccolo, some clouds, DBZ symbol, and here's the base with Gohan. So it doesn't look like it's too many pieces. Pretty big base. Let's take this out. Decent good weight. So here it is. As you can see, Piccolo and Gohan, HQS. Not really sure what that stands for. This has a orange and brown look for the base. Very nicely packaged for sure. So here is Gohan. Definitely impressive. Good sculpt, good paint job. All right, so it looks like he goes in right here. Dragon Ball Z symbol. Oh, we'll get that later. All right, so here's the clouds. Cloud. 
much different than the typical cloud I'm used to. You know, most clouds were always just white. Now, it's nice to have something new. This has a gray brown look with some white. Mostly quite gray and brown. Everything fits in nice. No big pegs and it fits in good. as you can see. All right, next is Piccolo himself, which is obviously the star of this piece. Gohan is more or less just, you know, a background. So I do own a few Piccolo statues. I will compare them. Oh man, no, he has lots of battle damage. Here he is. Definitely looks fantastic. Tons of texture, detail on the clothing. Nice, good paint job. You see veins in him. Even a little bit of gloss in his eyes as if he's almost crying. You know, look at the back of him, like, look at that clothes. So much battle damage. Good heavy weight. You can definitely tell this is solid polystone. Oh, and it's magnetized as well. That's quite nice. All right, so it looks like they include an additional like COA piece here, which is kind of nice because I mean, who the flip's gonna display that giant COA they had in the beginning? You know, it's like, that's why it's like all the newer non-licensed DBZs out there include like a little credit card or you know, something like that, like a COA. There's the Tsume one, just that. Nice little extra you can add on the side. I'll display that for sure. Just uh, one final piece to go ahead and complete this is the DBZ symbol. So the Z is separate. Magnetized, quite powerful magnet, in fact. And here is the Dragon Ball with a little Dragon Ball in the middle. Boom. That goes in nice. So there it is. Let's I get a little bit closer look in comparison. You know, as you can see, that's my kitchen counter quite big now this cost me about three hundred seventy nine dollars plus about twelve dollars shipping so you know it's your typical DBZ price let's go ahead and uh, put them up in the statue room where we have some better lighting we can uh, do some comparisons and get uh, that deeper on this piece all right everybody here is the Tsubay Piccolo here in the collection so, you know, it's not finalized where I'm gonna really display him because I need to get one more detail. And, you know, I'm really just trying to focus on the Saiyan Saga and finish off Dragon Ball. So I got a few more Dragon Ball and then several Saiyan statues, uh, Saiyan Saga statues coming, you know, this year. And really once I finish that and you know, so a few extra pieces, I'm gonna focus more on the one fourth scale line with DBZ. But here's the Tsume Piccolo. He's definitely a keeper. You know, he's quite big, and uh, you know, I was comparing him uh, to my other Piccolo statues, you know, like for example, here's a VKH Piccolo, you know, which is a nice statue. Uh, the VKH Piccolo, you know, have much different colors, uh, you know, it's a darker shade of green, as well as his outfit is much more dark purple, you know, I'm not sure, I, I have to look at the anime, I'm not sure, you know, what is more anime correct. The Tsumi one is much more vibrant, you know, the green and his whole outfit, everything just sticks out more. So that's one noticeable thing. I gotta say, I'm quite impressed, you know, they're, the detail's really good on this. You know, you know, like, you look at the outfit, you know, they put lots of detail in it, it's not very, it's not, you know, just simply plain. I mean, your typical, like, like, Let's look at this outfit. I mean, it has different shades of color. 
some creases, not quite as, you know, detailed, I would say, at least as Piccolo. You know, we get stuff like this, though. I mean, this is just as detailed. The MRC Frieza Punching Goku is just as detailed for sure. You know, there's really n n not a big gap. The older Piccolo statues, this definitely has the edge. You know, I would say this is the best Piccolo statue out there. Gohan looks great, and I like the way it's portrayed. You know, it does look like he's, you know, somewhat of a distance behind him. I think this would, pr I mean, if it's up high, you can see Gohan better. I mean, it definitely looks good up high. I think maybe mid-tier shelf would look best. However, Piccolo is quite tall, so his head almost hits the very top, and so that's why I'm just displaying him right here for now while I have this space. Until I need the upper detolf space, I'm going to place him right here, which he looks great. And, you know, with the light right there, uh, you know, it really allows me to view the full beauty of the sculpt. So, let's look at the base. I do like how they have a black under base with the DBZ symbol, and it has, you know, it's like different shade of black from here to here. Overall, the base, I mean, it's not super, you know, like not ton going on. More or less, it's just a rocky base with the two wind effects. Now, this scene was very dramatic and just tons going on. So, I'm, you know, I'm certain they could have done something more to make it more dramatic than it appears right here. You know, maybe some energy effects or, you know, something. So, I mean, this is not a perfect piece per se. I mean, the sculpt is beautiful, so is the paint job. But there's definitely more they could have added. The expression is great, you know, on Piccolo's face and on little Gohan there. I like Gohan. Gohan looks great. You know, he's trying to cover himself. He's scared and screaming. Very vibrant paint job. Definitely good. I, I mean, Tsumi is definitely, you know, something to watch out for if you're a fan of DBZ. The, the only issue really is, A, they're quite expensive. You know, like the Vegeta, $700. That's quite a lot for a 1-4 scale for, you know, it's only like 17 inches tall as well. And plus the wait time, you know, they take a long time. You know, your typical DBZ resin only takes two, three months max to ship to you. You know, and as a lower ES of typically two to three hundred, you know, so that, you know, it holds a good value having that low of ES, although it's not licensed, you know, they, I find they tend to hold a good value, especially, you know, the really nice ones like, you know, Vegetaverse Boo, you know, I sold one of those for quite a lot of money and then rebought it when it was rerun. But, you know, historically, Tsume does have good resale value. So, you know, I wouldn't be worried of losing money on any DBZ statues. They have announced a Goku holding Nappa for the next 1-6 scale, and I'm, you know, really excited for that. I've always wanted that scene, so I'm definitely going to get that. You know, I'll probably just get their entire Saiyan Saga line. And, you know, we'll see how the future holds. Uh, I'm quite impressed with this Piccolo statue. It has a vibrant paint job, great sculpt. It's overall a great statue for sure and uh, must have if you're a DBZ fan. And trying to collect, you know, the 1-6 scale line like I am. It is, uh, you know, I got this from Secret Compass. So you can uh, go, uh, you know, I know they have it in stock. I'm not sure if it's sold out yet. But Secret Compass has it in stock. I know Big Bad Toy Store does have availability, so you can pre-order it there. I'm sure they'll get theirs within the next few weeks or so. Secret Compass just generally gets statues somewhat faster than other retailers. So, you know, that's why I went through them and I support them quite a bit. If you're not a member, do join my Facebook group, which is DBZ Resin Collectors. I have I've made a, a secret group, so just... Message me on Facebook, Sean Sanders, and, you know, I can go ahead and add you. Do like the video, comment, and please subscribe and share the video. Uh, I will have several, uh, you know, at least two more unboxings next week. You know, I've also thought of making some YouTube videos on potential, like, weightlifting or Clash Royale. Let me know your thoughts if any of you are interested in Clash Royale or... You know, weightlifting, you know, because I do work out quite a bit. You know, I got my bench up to almost 450, you know. And so if any of you were looking for weightlifting advice or, you know, I'm big on Clash Royale, over 4,100 trophies. So I can help, you know, make some videos on that. 
Other than that, y'all have a great day. I will see you all next week. I got some bad, nice 1-4 scale statues coming next week. Have a great day.